Hey friends, now let's discuss a new type of testing method to test the insulation resistance which is called as step voltage uh, testing method. Uh, in this method, the, the step voltage tests involve resistance testing at various voltage settings. So what is the method is that we, uh, we will apply different voltages like we apply 500 volts, we take the resistance. Uh, insulation resistance, then we apply 1 kV, we'll take the insulation resistance, then we apply 2 kVs and so on. And this is also part of maintenance testing. In this test, you apply each test voltage for the same period of time, for example, 60 seconds, graphing the recorded insulation resistance by applying increasing voltages in steps. The insulation is exposed to increased electrical stress that can reveal information about flaws in the insulation such as pinholes, physical damage or brittleness. Good insulation should withstand an increase in poor voltage stress and its resistance should remain approximately the same during test with different voltage levels. On the other hand, especially at higher voltage levels, deteriorated, cracked or contaminated insulation will experience an increased current flow resulting in a decrease in insulation resistance. This test is independent of insulation material equipment, capacitance and temperature effect. So this is very important that this test is independent of insulation material, equipment, capacitance and temperature effect. Because it takes a longer time to run, it should be performed only after insulation spot test has been inconclusive. A spot test deals with absolute resistive change single reading with respect to time while the step voltage test looks for trends in resistance and respect to varying test voltages so the thing is uh, you are doing the spot uh, test and you are not getting a satisfactory reading reading is not stable it's uh, uh, it's not staying at one position or the reading is coming less so the next step or next method to check further and get the conclusive uh, um, uh, proof is to do the step voltage test in this one you will apply different sets of uh, applied voltages and uh, values of applied voltages for a uh, given time fixed time and you will check the response of insulation so a good insulation would have very small change in leakage current or insulation level will be fairly constant but if the insulation is not good then you will see uh, uh, basically a different and drop in the graph so the because the spot testing is affected by temperature and it's uh, also affected by capacitance value um, so that's why it's always a good idea to do the step voltage test uh, which is basically independent of mater um, insulation material of equipment capacitance temperature effect so this is very very uh, interesting testing technique so we'll discuss it further thank you